made in Hollywood. Director Ridley Scott's latest movie takes a look at the misfortune of having a fortune. Based on true events, All the Money in the World chronicles the kidnapping of John Paul Getty III and the refusal to pay his ransom by his billionaire grandfather. You used to be a spy. My child is a prisoner. $17 million. Oh, they will take his eye, his ear, the hand, and don't tell me you don't have the money. People are curious. They're going to want to know about the original Kevin Spacey version. Do you think you or the studio will ever release that version? I very much doubt it. I really doubt it. I think that would be excruciatingly tacky. My former father-in-law only buys the best. It's time for you to do whatever it is he pays you to do. Let's hope you're half as good as everything else he's bought. There weren't too many resources for you to research her, correct? There were a, a couple of clips that existed online, footage of her speaking, which was extraordinarily helpful for me. Mm -hmm. And you found them on YouTube. I did, YouTube. I mean, I don't know what we did before YouTube. It's like, it's like your own like research assistant right there. Think of your own children or of the child that you once were and set my boy free, thank you. Her speech is very precise and thoughtful and incredibly intelligent. And that gave me a lot of insight into her mind. We need to pay the ransom, Mr. Getty. I do not have the money to spare. No one has ever been richer than you are at this moment. What would it take for you to feel secure? More. I had lots of um, interviews that I could go off of. There were a bunch of books. I mean, the book that the film is based on, I, I read, and, and lots of books that were written about the family and about my guy in particular. I didn't hire an ex-CIA officer just to pay people off. I hired you to do things that other people can't or won't do. His decision to not pay the ransom. I will say, I, honestly, to admit it, I will say that I kind of understood where he was coming from because of the fact that he had the multiple grandchildren. He didn't want it to be the catalyst. But do you guys side with him as well, or do you think no? no? I think I think he talked a lot of sense. So when he, people go, oh my God, how can you say I wouldn't pay anything for my grandson? He's talking to the terrorists. I have 14 grandchildren. If I start paying ransoms, I'll have 14 kidnapped grandchildren. I wanted to to get at him and, and make him a little warmer so that the audience could actually <laughs> be touched by him. I think what you're saying is a testament to Christopher's performance because I think in his performance you really have empathy for this person and understanding for him. Um, but yeah, I think I'm too much of a sucker. I'd probably just pay for him. <laughs> when you have that much money and power and privilege, it creates a kind of moat around you where no one can really reach you. There are ways around a situation where it endangers the lives of the rest of his grandchildren. 